Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk ice hockey. Marcus Joseph joining us this week. Well, got to see Marcus this past week at Revolution Ice Center, training with one of the best in the world in uh, base hockey. And, uh, of course, uh, Marcus, welcome into the show. And, uh, boy, you had a pretty challenging week working out with Besa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, yeah. It was uh, really challenging. Uh, one of the best skaters in the world. And, uh, it was a privilege to be on the ice with them. I hope to do it every. I hope to do it every summer with them. You guys are working awfully hard and watching the grind and what you're doing, but that's how you get better. And uh, talk about little things that you you learn from I mean, You look like a pretty good skater, but working with him, uh, you, you kind of take your game to another level. Yeah, I mean it's it's hard it's hard doing what he does on the ice, but I tried I tried my best. I mean he's on a whole other level. He he's been training NHL teams so. It's always good to get on the ice with him. He makes you better every day. Well, Marcus, uh, you went to Crestwood High School, but uh, let's talk about your ice hockey career, when you started, and kind of take us through uh, to where we are today. Yeah, yeah. So um, the first time I um, got on skates was probably age three, around age three. And I've just been – I've grown up here my whole life, and I played for the Pocono Pirates. And then as soon as the Books for Screen and Knights came around, I uh, joined them. And played there for like eight years or something like that, and and then I got the privilege to uh, go up and play in Canada last year in uh, Ottawa for the Carlton Place Canadians. And as I was there, I uh, was fortunate enough to talk to a Division One college team, Sacred Heart, and I um, I'm committed there for 2017-18. So I, I'm looking forward to that. And this year I'll be. Um, playing for the Youngstown Phantoms in the USHL, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's always been a dream of mine to play for Youngstown or any team in the USHL, and I'm really fortunate enough to play in the USHL this year. Let's take us through that that kind of decision making process. Growing up as a hockey player, and everybody thinks, "Hey, uh, you know, I got to go to college. I got to do this." But as a hockey player, you usually take a different path, and your path is a little different. So. Uh, take us through trying to, to grow up and be mature and understand that, uh, hey, I, I got to wait a year or two before this all kind of develops. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of funny that you say that because every, everyone always asks that. Like, ho- hockey is, like, a lot different than any other, like, high school sport. Like, you can wait three years out of high school when you graduate in order to go play Division One hockey somewhere. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Like, you, you just want to go to school at some point, but – you want to keep uh, keep the dream alive and be able to go play Division One college hockey somewhere. So I, um, you just got to train and keep your mindset to it. And I was fortunate enough to uh, get an offer last year, and I can't wait to be there. How about uh, your experience in Canada? Tell us about uh, what that was like. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, it's always nice going somewhere else to play hockey. I I actually stayed with the family there, uh, Billet family. And I uh, I got lucky enough to stay with a good family there, great people, and really just every day there was just hockey, hockey, and hockey. There's no time off, and it was awesome. I'd, I'd go back there again if I could. And uh, what are you looking forward to with this season? How long will it last, and when do you leave uh, to head to Youngstown? Um, I leave the 27th, so next Saturday, and uh, – yeah, that that season's going to be pretty long. I hope so, at least for uh, playoffs and stuff. It could it could be from late August to middle of May, end of May. So hopefully, I stay that long. Your experience with the Wilkesbury Scranton Knights, and obviously some uh, some guys who went through that program went on to do uh, some other things as well. And, and all of you guys are kind of finding your own niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, I play with a couple guys that are are either drafting the NHL and are going soon or are going to the NHL this year. And I was very fortunate to play with them. I, I learned a lot from them and got me to where I am today. Marcus, what is it about your game that you feel you have that ability to, you know, play at the level here with the Youngstown, then you're going to head to Sacred Heart, and then who knows what after. But I'm sure your ultimate goal is to play at the highest level. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm i more of an offensive defenseman, so – as long as I, uh, keep, and I'm a smaller guy, so as long as I just keep my speed up and get stronger every day, then I think I'll be able to compete at that level. 
what are some things that you kind of focus in on and say, okay, this is one thing, and I work with a guy like uh, Besa, you know, learning things from him. I'm sure he gives you some tips along the way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main thing is with Besa, it's not shooting or any of that. It's We barely even use pucks with Besa. It's just all footwork and speed and power, and he teaches you all that, and he's one of the best. So you want to focus in and just try to get better with him. Marcus, uh, tell us about your family, and uh, of course, uh, I'm sure uh, there's been a lot of support, a lot of traveling with hockey over time. So, uh, talk about yeah. uh, all those trips. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm so thankful for my parents. They they've done so much for me to get to where I am today. I've they've uh, driven me, flew me to so many places. Like I've been to Russia and Finland with them. They've driven me to Chicago. They've flown me to Chicago. All that. Like I'm so fortunate for them to uh, to have paid all that money for me to go to those places. Because now it's finally paid off. So thankful. Well, uh, you're doing some great things. That's for sure. From Canada to Youngstown to Sacred Heart, you got a uh, your your map is already planned out, which is great. And uh, of course, some bigger things coming your way as well. It's great to meet you this past week and and see you work hard uh, at the camp. And uh, we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, another uh, guy here from Northeastern Pennsylvania doing some great stuff on the ice. Marcus Joseph here on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.